It is time for me to do my first oil change. I am following Retired at 40's advice and doing this right after a run so my oil is warm, helping to get some of the gunk out of the machine. With this being my first change and my machine is new, I got it in November, I did get this from Harvest Right with my machine. Right, so let's get this unboxed. Comes in plastic. The lid has a date, so if I said today is like February 10th, it's close to that. Then if I um, look over, it's telling me I need to change oil again on April 10th. So I don't know if you can see that there. But that's in that lid. This opens up, that kind of opens up. I'm going to go ahead and twist my demister off. My pump is still quite warm since I just finished a load. I'm going to keep this sitting this right side up because I don't want it to tip over. I am working over carpet, so I did put a towel down. And we just need to open this a little ways and let it drain out. Or so I've been told. I am having trouble, so I'm gonna have to go get a tool. And grabbed a flat head screwdriver. I'm gonna make sure that is underneath there. I'm gonna use the tool to help me get that open. And now my oil is draining out. And then I did look at the manual. It does suggest that you tilt the pump a little bit once that starts to slow. You can hear the ice on my machine since I did a no defrost needed. So I'm doing this again while this is warm to get as much gunk out of the pump as I can. Okay, that seems to pretty much just be done. Before I move this, I'm gonna go ahead and close that because I am over carpet and set that aside. My container already has some oil dripping through. It looks quite clear, so it is working to get the contaminants out. While my oil is filtering, I'm going to add the rest of this oil that came with my machine. It's the first oil that I put in so it's not full. And then this one also came when I ordered it, so I will use some more out of here. I want one completely empty, so I have a spot to put my clean oil so I can go back and forth between my two oils um, until they're bad and I need to pitch it out. I'm gonna use a funnel just to help make sure I don't make a mess. I made a mess the last time I filled up my machine. So that oil is now empty. And then I will be adding from the other oil. So I got my new oil opened here that hadn't been opened before. Keeping an eye on that window a little bit. I wanna get it about exactly halfway. Oops, and I've been messed up with that, so I'm gonna have an oil mess to clean up. Oil mess cleaned up. I'm not even showing in the window yet. This does sometimes take a little bit of time to show where it's actually at. So I do wanna be careful once it starts to show in the window. And let my window catch up to where I'm actually at so I don't overfill this. There, I'm going to stop. and let that keep rising a little bit for a minute. I'd like to get this to almost exactly half. When I did this the first time, as it was running, it was getting a little bit low. Um, so I wanna make sure I have a little more oil than the first time I filled this up.
So that's going to get me about to halfway. I need to put the demister back on. This one has a very flawed design in that this O-ring does not stay in place very well. It falls out pretty easily. So you want to make sure you get that in place before you set this back on here. You'll notice mine even fell back on top of the machine, which is where I ended up flipping this upside down last time, which I found out you're not supposed to do, especially now that it's got some oil in it potentially. So I am going to try to keep that in. Say so it's a terrible design that doesn't want to stay there. And if you don't keep it in the right spot, then you're going to get misting and your pump's not going to seal right. So as I'm screwing that down, I'm going to check and make sure I'm actually, I saw that it settled with the O-ring. See if I can zoom in and show you that that is actually settled with the O-ring. So if you just look, you can see it sat down on top of that O-ring correctly. And so I'm going to be okay to get that hand tightened on. I'm going to go ahead and get this hand tightened on. Clean that up just a touch. And then the oil change itself is completed. I'm going to let this um, complete filtering and I will show you what everything looks like before I dump it back in the container to use the next time I need to filter my oil. It has been a little over an hour and it looks like most of my oil has already filtered through. If I open up the top and look in, as you can see, even within an hour here, there's very little oil left in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the oil back into the container. I'm going to use a funnel to help me not make a mess of this. As I get that poured back in, I know this is less than that container because it's what I filled my pump with when I filled it the first time and I used the rest of it today. So I know all of this will go back in here. I'm a little curious to how much oil might be in that filter. So I'm gonna let this sit like another hour. And if I need to, we'll dump it back in and then we'll have our oil filtered and ready to go for the next oil change. Okay, I've let this sit for a couple more hours. And currently, there's just a little bit of oil that's still drained out of um, the filter in here. So I'm gonna dump that into here. And then I'm going to store this back in the box simply because there'll always be a little bit of oil in this. and. Then I've successfully accomplished my first oil change.